sounds quite quiet. Better. Alright, let's save. Yeah, I remember this level very well for these purple holes mainly. Purple holes are awesome. Alert. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Prick. Okay, alert my ass. Oh, what's this? Alright, let's just set this. One of the monitors showed was it. left to the inner circle. Oh crap. Whoa! That's not fair. Wow. Okay, why couldn't I hear my gunshot like ammo? That was weird. Alright, well, um. Not much else here. Or is there? No, that's not. Alright, let's uh, listen to this. On screen, the so called corpse of Alfred Woden stood up, miraculously waking from his dirt nap, looking smug among his dead pals. In the land of the blind, the one eyed man is king. I didn't know how he pulled it off, but it was a pretty slick way to get out of all his promises. Most of what he had said fit too well to be a load of crap. Alright, well, I don't exactly understand what the hell. I don't exactly understand if that means Woden is a bad guy or a good guy. I think he's still like 4 max, except he kind of screwed him. Oh my god. Yeah, he, I think he kind of... I don't know. It seems like Max is getting the impression that Woden backstabbed him as well. But I'm getting the impression that... Um, oh, what the... F Fuck is going on in this place. I'm getting the impression that oh my god. I remember that somebody would appear from the elevator. I just didn't know which one. Okay now let me just finish this sentence I've been trying to finish for the last five minutes. I think that Max is getting the impression that Woden is backstabbing him while he's not. I don't know. Oh uh, Alright now. Oh, crap. Alright. Oh, crap! God damn it! Why? Why are there people? Oh. Alright, well... Oh, piss off! Alright, let's just save. Alright. Um, another thing I want to say is that the other night I saw the Max Payne movie um, on DVD and many people have said in the past that the movie sucked ass, like really sucked dick at 20 different angles. Um, so I saw the movie myself and I myself found the movie um, how do I explain it? It's not a good movie, alright? By no means is it a good movie. But, it does capture some of the um, elements of Max Payne. Not the storyline. Definitely not the storyline. The acting was pretty good in my opinion. The atmosphere was definitely not like the game's atmosphere, like this one. But it still was pretty alright. Um, by the way, the movie wasn't too bad, you can watch it once, but that's about the maximum amount of times you can actually watch the movie, because it's just not a great movie, by no means. If it was a good movie, well, I'd watch it again, because it's Max Payne. Oh. Yeah, but... The storyline in the movie is completely screwed over. Nothing, like only a few percent of the actual game is in the movie. Like the actual storyline of the game is in the movie. Most of it is made up. Like Max Payne seems to have no friends in the movie at all. While in real life, like he 
just got friends like Alex Boulder and like everything like that. But yeah, let's just listen to this. And what is your answer to those saying that he's actually providing a service long overdue to the city? This crusade nonsense has gone too far. He's out of control. It must stop. He will be stopped. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the New York City Police Department. That brings me to another point. Why is Jim Bravura um, young and black? He's meant to be old and white. But why are they all of a sudden getting all these famous rappers and singers? Like, I saw Nelly Furtado in the movie, bloody uh, Ludacris. Who else is, is in the... Um, well, Bo Bridges is a good actor. Uh, that's like a highlight of the film. Mark Wahlberg's not that bad, but he, he just doesn't fit for the movie. He's not, he doesn't have the voice. He's got the acting skills, definitely, but not the voice. No way. No way in hell has Mark Wahlberg got the voice for Max Payne. They should have put someone like, um... Okay, I don't think there's any actor in Hollywood that actually fits Max Payne's, um, voice. Alright. Oh, let's kill these people. I don't like them. Holy crap, I almost died. Alright, well, yeah. And another problem I have, this is still um, about the storyline, is that they didn't even mention Punchinello's name once. Now, as many of you know, Punchinello is like one of the main antagonists of the game. Even though he doesn't... Videotape lay on the desk. Okay, well, I'll read that later. Yeah, Pochino is one of the main enemies, even though he doesn't really do much. But they didn't even mention his name once. Another point is that Mona Sachs is somehow Russian. And I don't really know the Russian last names of Sachs. Her twin sister, which doesn't even look like her, is called Natasha, while in the game it's actually Lisa, uh, the Russian, not Italian. Um, Ludacris is black. Oh wait, Jim Brabour is black in the movie, and young. Uh, BB uh, doesn't really appear in the movie, I mean, in the game at all, until the end. Um, Nicole Horn is the bad well, girl, I guess, and she hardly in the role in the film. Alex Boulder and Max Payne are enemies, however in the game they are friends. Um, the list goes on. I'm just saying like differences from the movie and the game. Come on, what the hell does... Oh, there we go. Nicole Horn had blackmailed the inner circle into silence. The tape came with a curt extortion note on a piece of expensive paper. I remembered Candy Dawn taping her clients in action on the side, selling the tapes to the highest bidder. And I was sure the kinky sex was nowhere near Alfred Woden's worst sin. But I had a feeling that when this was over, any collateral would come in handy. Alright, that makes sense then. It seems that Alfred Woden can't do shit to anyone. One left me a present. Yeah, Alfred Woden can't do shit to anyone because Nicole Horn has a sex tape with him. Oh well. Yeah. Come on, I need to read this. Woden had taken care of my mission preps with military precision. The critical areas in the Acer Corporation headquarters blueprints were circled in red. The president's office was at the top of the building, right below her penthouse suite. The elevators were controlled by a security computer, part of the mainframe located underground below the building. The high-rise was sealed as tight as a sci-fi fortress. Oh, alright, we have a lot of shit on our hands. Oh, it's working. Nothing seems to stop Acer Corporation's phenomenal victory march. Incredibly, the stocks are still rocketing. Worried experts already see a danger in the company's success. Some have gone as far as to say that Acer Corporation is about to become an even bigger monopoly than Microsoft ever was. Than Microsoft ever was. I heard that. Well, Microsoft isn't really that big anymore. Um, they had its fair share of, like, fame, 
now the stocks are going down very fast and they don't really have any shit to prove anymore and they're trying to um, combine with Yahoo to create a engine sorry an engine to beat Google's search engine which is a desperate move by Microsoft and Yahoo well not really Yahoo because Yahoo would make more money from it but still Alright, now what? Oh, perfect. It's attacking, goddammit. Let's just say, oh, 